Are you considering becoming self-employed, an entrepreneur, or a small business owner and don't know how to get started? Stay tuned. I'm Kim Smith of WKIM TV and it's Small Business Sunday where we share quick tips and resources for small business owners and we encourage our viewers like you to shop small business. Let's get started. The terms self-employed, entrepreneur, small business owner, we're going to give a little clarity, especially surrounding self-employed, aka the sole proprietor. A lot of people think that you need to go out and get incorporated immediately, but you can start a business as a sole proprietor and start doing business that way. Self-employment is the simplest way to run a business because there's one person allowed to keep all of the profit because there's just one person responsible for all of the risks and every facet of running the business. Are you an entrepreneur, small business owner, or both? All entrepreneurs are small business owners, but not all small business owners are entrepreneurs. The difference is in the mindset. Check out a couple of the articles in the description box to get the firm differences between the two. With self-employed, it's something simple as an Uber driver. As an Uber driver, you can't scale your Uber operation, making five people drive for you and you gain dividends from them. No, that's however the system that Uber itself has, which is they own no taxis, but they have multiple people driving on their behalf and they still collect the money for it. They are on the entrepreneurial level. As an Uber driver, you are self-employed. So what's next, you may ask? Just get started. You may say, how do I get started? Start brainstorming. Do you have an idea regarding a business or a product idea that you've been mulling over for a while, but just haven't done anything with it? Or it may be time for you to move forward with that great light bulb moment that you've had in the past. I wanted some vegan junk food. So I was sitting in my bedroom in Atlanta and I came up with this crazy idea to start a concept that would sell comfort food for people who wanted something like that. And literally, just like a light bulb, Slutty Vegan was born. Or perhaps it's time for you to start brainstorming regarding how you can utilize your natural gifts and talents to start a small business. You probably are sitting on right now gifts and talents that you have not used in years because you dismissed them and you doubted that you could use them to make any money or you never even thought about making money or building a legacy because of your natural gifts and talents. But I'm telling you, it's probably right under your nose. It's that thing that people ask you about and they ask you for and you just do it like, ah, it's no big deal. It's just me, this is what I do. But that is the thing. It is a big deal because it's not natural to everyone. After brainstorming, do you still need additional ideas? Then check the description box to get the full article for 21 business ideas in 2021. I'm so excited. This is my favorite portion of the video. Small black owned businesses on the move. Cousins Dozens Donut Shop. BB Bombs, aromatics for the body and the home. Miss D's, accessories and things. Chubby Line apparel and personalized dolls. Cinco, commercial building services. And Veronica Louise hats. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And be sure to check out the description box for contact information for all highlighted businesses, articles, small business resources, and more.